Now the spotlight turns to Jason Line, a man who's never won in Brainerd, his hometown track. Technically not going to do it this year. Still might get a Brainerd win, though, because we're in Indianapolis. He will take on Dave River. It's that guy. Dave River, one of the great Cinderella stories in drag racing, but there's been others in recent history. Remember Robert Schwab and Funny Car Denver in 2004 yep. went to the semis, and Don Sasanka in a rain plague race at Atlanta 2002 also went to the semis, driving the Mr. Magoo top fuel car, Mike. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. And same thing with David River, car that should not be in the semifinals, has not run the numbers, but yet he is here looking to basically try to capitalize on basically Jason Line mistake, because that's what's going to have to happen, I think, for Dave River to get the get the win. Clock struck midnight for the Makokita Iowa driver. Jason Line 6, 58, 9. He's lowered the number one qualifying effort for the U.S. Nationals. He's in the final. And for Dave River, still not qualified for drag racing's biggest event. So we digest some numbers as Jeg will now face Jason Line. Many times we've seen you guys go nose to nose in a yeah. final, but he just throws down a 58. Yeah. Is that intimidating? No. No, I think it's intimidating. Uh, to have the team we have and to be struggling the way we're struggling, quite honestly, uh, you know, we're uh, we've made three runs and had three motors in it. Uh, but I got all three the motors. Faith. Yeah, I've uh, got all the faith in the world. Uh, Alan and Roy and Mark and everybody on the Jags crew, Adam and and uh, Dean and Mike, are doing a fantastic job. Uh, just a little, little frustrating from behind the wheel to uh, you know it's all there and we're just missing it somewhere. So uh, we're we're uh, we'll dive into this data and see if we can't uh, pep up the old yeller and and uh, give Jason run for his money tomorrow. Jake said uh, somewhat jokingly, we got Zeus fasteners on our motors. Rob Downing uh, tuning the car for Jason Line. And Rob, it's the age old Summit. Summit versus Jags in the final for the Brainerd Wally here at Indy. What do you, what do you got planned for the final against Jag? Well, just uh, do the best job we can do. Um, it's a tough deal trying to qualify and race at the same time, so. Uh, uh, like I said, just come out and try to make the best run we can make in the morning and uh, we'll see what happens. With Jason, you had kind of a perplexed look on your face. Did you think something was wrong because you threw a 58 at him? Uh, no, I didn't think it was wrong, but nobody wanted to come talk to me. Usually you'll, somebody will say, hey, yeah, nice run, but uh, nobody did. Nobody was that impressed with the Chevy Camaro. I don't know why. It was uh, it was a great run. It really was. Jason, I was impressed. Okay, good. As long as, long as somebody was. So. Uh, Thank all the Summit folks, and uh, it's cool to be in the final at Brainerd, but not at Brainerd. So uh, a little strange, a little weird, but um, uh, it is what it is, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe we can get a win out of this. All right, thanks. Thank you. So the finals of the Lucas Oil Nationals, Brainerd, Minnesota, here in Indianapolis, Indiana, stacks up like this. Jason Lyon, the man in the orange hat, will have lane choice courtesy of that 658-9 when he takes on Jack Coughlin for the 17th Wally of the season. Both drivers also qualified well here at the U.S. Nationals.